Hey guys, so we're gonna take a train to Karnikava. Actually, it's, I'm just wanna see what the beach looks like here. So, two euro, not bad at all. Check out this train, guys. Pretty fancy, actually. I'm, I'm impressed. Check this out, guys. It's actually just a wee bit cold over here. This is about five to 10 miles north, of, I think more like 10 miles north of town here. But no big deal if I have to quit and just go back, you know. But, uh, wow. So this looks like kind of like a nature kind of area that would be good for camping as well, right? So I thought this was more of a, like a suburban area here. Well, we can take a look around here and see what the hell's over here. This is called Kongal, which is uh, just north of a major beach area here. So let's see what this looks like here. So you got some beaches. I'm coming up, up, up here to go to the beach, right? Or to do it, at least look at the beach, you know, just to see what it looks like here. So we can take a look. So we have this uh, park officer and this uh, trail here, but it gives me a warning uh, so as not to exit the trail, pitch a tent, start fire, something like this, or even walk outside the trail. So maybe I'll look a little bit further south here just to see if there's some other land that I can uh, go on that is not, say, federal. Probably they're not going to be out here looking for people. Now, um, I was just on the internet uh, looking at some information on Tenerife. And what's going on on Tenerife is I was camping over there about two years ago, right? So had no problem doing it, um, even on the beach. And uh, what I would do there is I would just kind of go, uh, you know, late later on during the evening time, and go into this crevice, right, where nobody could see the crevice there on Tenerife. And it wasn't actually that far from the beach, right? It wasn't, and nobody would come to that crevice, right? So I would just set up there. I would jump out of my tent at like 6:30 a.m. or 6 a.m go into the city and I wander around or whatever and so people wouldn't see the tent there so it looks like what they're doing on Tenerife is they are uh, stopping this kind of thing there and are looking for people who are camping and that's been in the news media so probably they just want me to stop that you know so and what they're also doing there is they're kicking out these hippies that live there, uh, who live in the caves, right? So they're whacking the caves, you know, putting rocks in the caves there. So the police are doing this. So if I were to go back there, uh, probably going to be kind of tough to live there. Um, so I may try some other part of Spain or Portugal to uh, set up my home base inside of there. 
video surveillance of what people are doing here. First time I've seen that in the woods here and I'm looking for the camera. I don't see any camera here. So here we are at the beach in Lavia. So kind of like a wild beach here, got a picnic table here. Uh, what those yellow things are, I guess those are changing stations here. So, doesn't look like lifeguards, probably not. No, it does not look like, this is more of a, uh, you know, like a, a park, kind of a, like a national park type environment here where there's nothing around, no electricity or anything like this. Got myself a little bit of shelter here. Of course, I've got my rain gear with me. We have a little bit of shower here. So I'm going to be headed down south to the next stop, train stop on the south. I'm going to catch that back to uh, the main train station in Riga. And I'll catch you guys at the coffee shop here. Check out this wooden structure here. No idea what this is. There's like a little flagpole here. Some kind of beach hut, I guess. So there's a town up here called Visaki. And I'm going to go check it out here and uh, call it quits at the beach here. Just because it's a little bit soggy and a little bit cold for me. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to wrap things up here. Probably in a couple of days, you know, maybe a week in uh, Baltic states. And fly in a direction southerly to southern Europe. Um, and I think probably um, I'm going to be going to Spain or Portugal. Right, so I just got to sort out the travel plan and how long. Uh, because for me, I, I kind of, uh, I like kind of warm weather, you know. I don't like this nasty 60 degrees and rainy kind of thing going on here. Check this out, guys. Looks a little better with the sun out, right? Still kind of windy and cool here. I came uh, today here the next day. And it's about 72 degrees here. And we can just take a little walk here. There's people out here, you know, enjoying the beach here. And I'm going to take a walk, take a little walk down the water and see how cold, warm it is here. So not too much of a scene over here. You can see it's very quiet. Got some guy building a teepee down here. And other than that, got a few people sunbathing in the weeds here. So we have some cafes on here, a little restaurant and a bar at the beach here. As well as, you can see we got some of these resort houses here. These are basically like vacation homes fairly large. I mean, almost like, uh, like, I wouldn't say it's upscale as a Hamptons, although here's a Porsche. Let's, let's check which model this is, sir. Porsche Cayman. So kind of like Latvia version of the Hamptons, sir. And some of these are even under construction here. And I'll show you an, another one further down here. But I just noticed this house here is older. Let's see here. Appears to be vacant. So you've got, let's, let's take a little walk up here a further bit. Check this out, guys. These, this one... And these are definitely not communist refugees living here. Definitely pretty well off neighborhood here. So you see this field here? This, well, that's somebody's house there. So I probably wouldn't choose this field, right? Uh, but uh, say one similar without that house on it, you know? If I were to go 
and you know sleep there for the night as long as I didn't have a campfire there probably nobody would bother me right now if I don't have a light there and those now those houses are too close there but you kind of get the idea if this were say a little bit further away like say another block a couple blocks away that probably they're not going to bother me right unless they see me walking out of there <clears throat> but this is a, a little bit close to town right i mean if uh, this were i was looking for a real campsite probably you know maybe i might try over there but uh, this is actually close to a nature reserve, so I probably wouldn't be doing that right here. But I may choose another kind of nondescript, you know, place that I could set up out there. And I have one. I do have one uh, that is actually closer to uh, Riga. That it's in. It's kind of in a in a spot where there's a park nearby. It's like all the strain guys. It's old. The one I rode up here uh, yesterday was, you can tell it was brand new. This one is like from communist times. It's crazy. Once I get off, I'll show you the outside of it as well. There's a newer train right there, which is fantastic looking. Check out the train, guys. Old. So this is the Riga Central, like, right near the river. And there's a store. It's called Origo. And uh, it's just like a department store where you can get off and walk through the store there. And uh, go to the other side, then we'll head on to my room. And I'll be editing, editing some videos here and uh, uploading some more.